Okay, so back to square one. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're staying safe during these really weird times. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to clean the seat in my challenge car um, after many, many hours and years of hard racing. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. Stay tuned. So this car has had um, a lot of years of racing. Started off in Polo Cup and then moved to Challenge and that's when I took it over and that was 2016 and um, yeah it's done a lot of hard miles so as you can see the seat has uh, seen some wear man so yeah we're gonna give it a good clean I'm gonna take it out and uh, just try and get it back to original spec so there's nothing actually wrong with the seat um, it's just that it's really dirty and I'd like to just get it to um, a nice showroom standard because um, when you're sitting in the car you really want to feel comfortable and at home and it, it's, uh, it's something we can do during this lockdown period so let's do it There we go, it's out. So this is the Sparco Circuit GRP Tech. Um, it's obviously the wraparound helmet. So a uh, wraparound seat. So yeah, you can see it's just really dirty. Got obviously just some marks here. But you can see just uh, the emblems all dirty. This one at the top here is just very dirty. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna give it a good clean up. Um, just get it back to a nice and clean state. All right guys, so I'm using a product from Shield called Upholstery and Carpet Cleaner. Um, if you follow the instructions, it says you need to, you need to vacuum the seat first um, and then <clears throat> Then you apply this, you obviously shake it up, you apply it and basically scrub all of the areas um, that are yeah, obviously dirty. Um, so you go th we're going to go through the whole, whole seat, just spray it on, scrub it off and then you take a microfiber towel and you basically wipe off all the dirty areas. And then once that's done, um, then you take a vacuum cleaner and you basically clean you suck up all of the remaining debris and the dirt. Um, it obviously has to be a wet and dry vacuum cleaner when you do that. So let's get stuck into it. busy with the vacuum cleaner I'm just gonna go clean the inside of the car anyway because we've got uh, I'm using it so.
All right, so I've tried it on a, on a couple of sections. We're just going to see. I'm not convinced that it's actually doing what I need it to do. So we're going to wait the five minutes, let it soak in, then we'll wipe it off. And then um, just see what the result is. I do have some other product that we can try after this. So. So this 
this embroidery came out pretty good. Um, it's not as clean as I would have liked it to be, but um, it's not terrible. It's a lot better than what it was. Um, obviously you can see over here there's quite a bit of uh, wear. That's from the, uh, the Huns device in the helmet and then also here just getting in and out of the car. That's obviously on the right hand side of the driver. On that side, so where we get in and out, um, you've got a lot of that, uh, that wear. But otherwise, this came out, this text is quite nice. Um, came out really nice. Nice and clean. Um, same as on the cushion. Um, so overall, I'm really happy. So if we look at this text as well. It also came out really nice. And uh, it's got a really nice smell to it. A lot better than what it was. It used to smell like sweaty uh, race car drivers. So um, yeah, I'm very happy. I think it's uh, I think it's alright. You know, considering that this seat has done shit. Um, we bought I bought this seat in 2013 when I built my um, Class C Polo. Uh, went on to win the Class C Championship with that. So. That's when I bought, bought the C2013, so it's been in the car, it was in my Class C car, and then when we bought this Class B car, it was in that car, I was also involved in that accident, so it's, and it stood up well, I mean there's nothing wrong with the seat, so yeah, it's looking quite good, so let's go ahead and put this back in and um, get done with it. So just a quick tip, when you're using a little ratchet like this, okay, this is I think a quarter inch, um, you never use this to torque the bolts, okay? you use this just to take up the slack. If you want to torque the bolts you must use the allen key or you must use a um, this thing, <laughs> the term has eluded me but you don't use the ratchet to actually tighten the bolt because what, what you could end up doing is breaking the teeth inside the ratchet. I've seen a lot of guys also like on YouTube or whatever, they use this and then they put a pipe on it to obviously lengthen it. Like so. That's a bad idea because you're going to, like I say, you're going to end up shearing the teeth inside the ratchet. Um, and that goes for any ratchet, the big ones, everything. It's just really good practice to use this to take up the slack and then you use the T-bar to actually tighten it or with the torque wrench, whatever you're doing. So. so in this case, I'm going to use So there you have it, it's in. So there you have it guys, it looks like it's done. Um, I think it came out alright, it was uh, not too much effort but uh, just quite a bit of scrubbing and just basic cleanliness I guess. So um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, we've got some other cool maintenance stuff coming up. We're going to change the man cave a bit to um, just accommodate for some pictures and stuff I've got lying around and obviously just to clean it up a bit. 
So um, we're planning to do quite a bit of work here in the near future. So thanks for joining us. Um, we're gonna try. I'm gonna try and do as many uh, cool videos as I can during this lockdown period, but we'll just see what we can get done. So the Reno build is unfortunately on hold until we can get through this lockdown period because there's nothing really we can continue with. There's been a couple of developments there, so uh, it's gonna be, there'll be a new story to the chapter, um, but unfortunately there's nothing we can do there. We are just, we, our hands are tied. So um, as soon as the lockdown's finished, we're gonna get that car back and we'll get uh, stuck into it. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned, stay safe, and we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.